Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully customized our forget password page and also we successfully complete that locking and register page. Now friend, I want to do, uh, in this video, I want to work in our profile. That means which user is logging that user a uh, profile page i want to create so if you want to do this work they have one of the link as a profile okay so that is in our wish part that is in our header part first of all i want to do i want to find out a specific this menu if you want to find it simply go to our header right now we don't need this i close it and also i close it now into the header you can see that is one of the menu as a profile so into the profile area first of all i want to do and to create one of the route Okay, I want to load one of the page. So if you want to create that route, I hope you already know that part. That will be as a route. And I just put one of the name. Okay, that means route name as an admin profile. Okay, that is always the admin profile. Now we have to do, we have to create uh, that route. Simply you want to do, uh, we have to create this route in our web. So to this web, I have already created one of the group routes. So here I want to do, I want to create it. Simply I want to do, I want to copy it. And then I want to paste it. So that will be one of the get method. And here I name it, our route name will be as a admin profile. That will be one of the name route. And now in our web, I name it as a admin profile. And into this admin profile, first of all, our URL, our URL will be as a admin and then profile, whatever the name actually choose. Right now, I name it as a admin profile. And into this admin profile, I want to create, that means in our admin controller, I want to create one of the method as a profile. I name this as a profile. Now we have to create that method. Right, we have to create this method in our admin controller. Now go to our admin controller, that is our destroy method. After the destroy method, I want to create another new function. That means in new method, so that will be as a public, and then function, and then our method name, I name it as a profile. Okay, I simply created this method. And better, I want to make it as an and method. Okay, so that will be as an and method. So our first job is we have to do, we have to get our authenticated user details that means which user is logging right now i am already logged in right so which user is logging i want to get that user details so if you want to get it first of all you have to do better i want to put take one of the variable as an id okay i name it as an id and into this id area i want to get our authenticated user details that means auth so with this auth we'll get that which user is logging this authenticated user this authenticated user ID I want to get. Okay, that will be the ID. It means which user is logging that user ID. If you go to our database, into this database, if you go to that our user table, into the user table, that is all that our user. So by this auth, we will all get that which user is logging. If this user is logging, I want to get that user specific this ID field. Okay, friend. So now I simply get that authenticated user id and also before i load that auth make that sure you have to you have to use it i have already used it so i take that user auth and i take it with our variable as a id variable so now i want to do i want to find it i want to find which user is logging that user um, i want to find so if you want to find it it's very easy i simply take one of the variable okay i simply take one of the variable and i just name it as a admin data okay i name it as a admin data so that admin data here, if you want to get it, so here we have to get it from our user table, right? Here I'm using that eloquent ORM. So I have already created that model. So now with our user model, okay, that will be the user. So that is our user model. With this user model, I want to add that as a find method. So into this find method area, I want to do, I want to find out our which user is logging. That user, I have already taken it with this ID. Now I want to do, I want to find it. So if you use that as a user, also we have to do, we have to load our model. So if you want to load this model, that is, will be in our use. And then the app, right? That is an app and then backslash the models. So that is a models folder. And then into this models folder, our name as a user. Okay. If you go to our page, right now i want to minimize it okay i want to minimize it and that is our auth now you can see that is our app and into this app that is our model folder so that is our models folder and into this model that is our user right with this user we are able to access our database as i told you before when you work into the database our model will be needed that model actually handle our database table so right now our table name as a user table so here i simply loaded our model as a user model and with this user model i want to find our id which id i want to find i want to find which user is logging that user id 
okay i simply get our specific id data that means which user is logging i get this data and i take the things with this variable and now i want to do i want to pass it here i want to return one of the view page so if you want to return it the procedure will be same there's a return and there is a view right there is a return view page i want to do uh, in our um, like there is our admin okay into this admin folder here i want to actually create another new page so if you want to access it first of all we have to add that our admin and into this admin area i want to add, create another new file as an admin underscore profile okay profile underscore view that means this type of one of the file i want to create and here i want to pass our specific find id data which user is logging i have already get that data right I have already get the data now we have to do we have to pass it in our which page we have to pass it in our admin profile view page if you want to pass th that data then we have to do we have to pass it by the compact method okay so that is our compact now with this compact i want to pass our that variable as a admin data okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now i want to create our admin profile so in our admin folder so that is our admin here i want to create another new file and i just simply name it as a save as and that will be as a admin profile view dot blade dot php okay i simply created this space so into this space area first of all i want to do i want to extend our both of this that will be same i some from our index i cut it uh, or so that means from here I copy it and now in our admin profile here I paste it and also we have to do we have to end this section so I simply make it as an and section okay so that was the and section now we buy our admin master we'll get that our header we'll get that our sidebar we'll get that our footer right and that is only our EL part right so that will be our EL part I show you like right now if you click as a save all and now if you go to our page into this page i want to refresh it now that will be more clear to you uh, now if you go to our profile i click as a profile yes you can see by our admin master into this admin master i have already loaded our header you can see it successfully loaded at our sidebar it successfully loaded our footer only that part that part actually our el part right so that is actually our el part now you can see i didn't add anything but that with by this admin master it's actually gated all the tower css js sidebar um, header footer so by this it's actually gated so now that part will be our admin section part okay so if you go to our index into this index i have already hmm, take that one of the page content and that is a content fluid right and also if you go to our admin master into this admin master our main layout main layout will be as a main content okay perfect so now i want to do and to load one of the things if you go to our dashboard into the dashboard i want to load one of the card like if you go to that is our form and that is our element into this element if you go to that card like uh, this type of one of the things I want to load that will be one of the images and that will be one of the card okay so now I want to, I want to take it so if you want to take it simply click on the inspect and into this inspect and that is actually one of the row and here also you can see there is a main content which I have already taken it in our um, admin master and also now we have to add that as a page content and the, the content fluid so better first of all I want to do i want to take both of these classes okay i want to take both of these classes if you go to our indexed here you can see there is our two of this and after that that is actually on the row so now i want to copy both of these and now in our admin profile here i want to paste it and also we have to end both of these dev so i simply end one dev and also there is another one right so that will be our another dev dev is close great so now that is our total things you can also take it in your master right now it's totally fine okay, it's totally fine now in here i want to do that means i have already taken it in our main content which is i have already taken it in our master layout and then our i have already loaded that base content the content fluid great so now however i want to take that row i simply select it and now if you go to that edit with html you can also get everything in our ui card.html page right now with the inspect i will get it very easily i simply select all and also from to this video i will push this code to the github so you will get everything from here okay lecture by lecture all that code you will get 
I simply copy that row and now here I want to do and paste it. Okay, I simply paste it. First of all, I want to check it. Click the save all. Now, if you go here, now refresh it. Hmm, you can see it's not successfully get it right. Uh, you successfully get our total dev. You can see you successfully get the total dev, which is totally fine. So that is actually our total dev. And also in our admin master, into this admin master, that is our another main dev. And into this main dev, that is our EL part. So that is our EL part. Here I have loaded that page contain and then content flute. And from to the row, I actually load it. So right now we don't need this. In here, I want to actually now design our profile page. Only I want to, to take one. Okay, I want to take one. If you select this dev, this div is ended in here. I want to select this one that is ended. So now I want to, to re simply remove it because I only need one. And also dev is ended in here. Now I want to remove it. Okay, so now that is only one. Perfect. Okay, now that is only one. And that is also one of the image. Image. So if you want to load this image, what exactly you have to do? Like I make it as a little bit left position. And now there is our image if you want to load it so that will be as an asset right asset and with this asset that will be as a backend backend folder and then our asset so now i simply cart it and then i paste it okay so now that should be displayed click as a save all and now if you go refresh it hmm, you can see it's not successfully display so right now i better make it as a column six like right now there is a 12 that means a four so every row they have the 12 column right so now i want to do and make it as a six six column then that will be a little bit big now click the save all and now if you go refresh it hmm, you can see it's not successfully displayed like that way and for the images you can also choose that image portion like here hmm. That is our UI into this UI area. That is the images. You can see there is a different type of image. Uh, if I want to choose, like I want to choose this one. Okay, if you put your cursor and select it, now you can see it's automatically get our that CSS. So that is one of the image class as a round circle, right? So that is one of the round circle class. Better I want to take it. I simply first of all I'll take that our class name okay let's check this out so they have one of the class name i want to, want to change this class name okay here i paste it that will be the round circle avatar xl now let's check this out click the save all and now if you go now that should be changed refresh it hmm you can see that that is actually a round circle and also i want to do i want to add some of the bracket and also i want to make it into the center position so if you want to do this work like right now that is our card right so that is our card and after that there is an image so that is actually our image so into this image area here i want to do want to make it as a center the center so that is a center close i simply cut it i want to close it after that image here i want to close it and also I want to add some of the bracket. Okay, I want to add some of the bracket because that is very close in our top. Click as a save all. Now if you go refresh it, hmm, you can see now there is some of the gap in here. There is the images, and that is our card name. Great. So now, friend, I want to do. I want to load all that our name. I have already get some of the data. You can see I have already get which user is locking that user data. I get it by this variable as a admin data, and that admin data I pass it in our admin profile view page with the compact. Now we are able to access all that our authenticated user data. Which user is logging? We get that data by our admin data. So now simply go to our admin profile. And into this admin profile, there is a p tag. We don't need this p tag. I simply close, remove it, and also the small p tag. I remove it now. That is only h4. Okay, into this h4, first of all, I want to do I want to display that name which user is logging this user name. Okay, name uh, if you want to display it. Uh, if you want to display it, then you have to do you have to display it by which variable. Here, I have already take all that our data, take the things with this admin data. I pass that admin data variable in our admin profile page. So that is our admin profile page. Now, 
with our admin data with our admin data now we are able to access our which user is logging that user data right so that means in our user table there is our field name as a name email and also if you want to display that username you can display it like right now i want to display that name field data so that will be as a name okay i name it as a name and i copy it and i paste it okay i paste it and also i paste it so now also i want to display which user which user is logging this user email okay that means user email user email and then username okay username so if you want to access, access that email so our field name our field name if you go our field name as a email and also our field name as a username right now to don't display that email and then that will be display our user name now everything will be very clear to you so now if you click as a save all click as a save all and now if you go now go there now click as a refresh yes you can see friend it's now successfully get that our which user is logging right now i'm logging with the user for the reasons it's now display as a username user email address that means which user is logging that user email address and also the username perfect better i want to do and to put some of the head if uh, like after that i want to put on the hr okay so that is always hr i want to put that hr also after that i want to put another hr and then hr then it should be added on the underline now click as a save all now go there refresh it hmm, now it's actually looking better so now as a name user email and username perfect perfect so now i want to do uh, i want to edit it okay i want to edit and also in our database into this database if you go to the user table they have no field as a profile right i also want to don't to add another field for the profile update and also want to create another button for the edit like that is all that our dev right so that is all that our dev and after this okay after this i want to do i want to take another button so i take one of the a head if I close it so that is a head if I simply loaded that a head if and here after that I want to close it so that is a head if close okay so now I want to do I want to name it as a edit edit profile so that will be the edit profile button and into this edit profile I want to add one of the class class and here I want to use one of the button class if you go to our theme into this theme area there are also some of the button you can see there is different type of button so which is totally fine like there is all there all our button okay so now i want to do i want to use one of the button like as a like as the info button if you select it here if you select it now you see there is some of the button class okay so there's some of the button class i want to simply copy this button class and now i want to do I want to apply it in here now that should be updated now click as a save all how much easy it is you can see if you already know a little bit the css i hope you <laughs> you already know what exactly the things you have to do yeah you can see there is also another button as a edit profile so you know next video i want to do i want to update it like when you click as a edit profile it should be returned redirect to our another page where i want to load all that our user user details and also from here if you want to upload some of the images so step by step we'll go more deep okay friend now we are successfully designed our profile page in our next video i will work for our edit profile page so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video